Welcome to WebDemetos YouTube channel and you're watching Python tutorial series for beginners. So in this video we're going to see about multiple inheritance. In the last video we have seen about inheritance which inherited from a single parent class. Now we're going to see multiple inheritance which is going to inherit from multiple parent classes. So I'm going to create a file multi-inheritance.py the first class is going to be class space what to say human and def oops init oops is what happens if I go very fast print human ooh, human class now this is going to be my first class, the second class is going to be um, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do, student def init initialize print student class okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set a variable uh, being equal to human status is equal to student now what am I going to create the third class as which is going to inherit from both of the classes like human class and also the student class it's going to be learner it's going to inherit from two classes how to do it well it's quite simple now just do human comma student that's it it's done def underscore in it friend Lana class. Yes, it's, it's the most uh, simplest program. Yep. Now I haven't initialized or else written or defined any variable in my learner class. Okay. So now what we're going to do is that I'm going to create an object for my learner. Learner is equal to learner. What we're going to do is learner dot being learner dot status and I'm going to print it out both these strings print let's see what happens now it inherits from both the classes so learner class has been called but it has all those things that is corresponding to the human class and also the student class so this is how you create multiple inheritance in Python so you add both the classes inside the braces in order to make them the parent classes of my class so these two classes are parent classes for my learner class now there's one more thing in inheritance that I want to show you in the next video before that try to do as many parent classes as possible like third one human student what else can I do uh, male female and uh, something like that well it depends on what you want to do you can add multiple classes like this as many as you want as long as y you don't forget oh wait what is this class about so that is what I don't want to take it much further like not many classes inside my inheritance but at least till the point where I feel comfortable if it goes beyond that then there is something that has to be done in order to optimize the program anyway guys thank you for watching this video let's see in the next video please don't forget to like the video and also share the video with your friends or anyone you think would be benefited by this video and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you have any comments issues errors feedbacks or uh, suggestions then please leave them in the comment section and also you can contact me through the Facebook page or 
Google Plus page or Twitter feed. You can find the links for them in the description section of this video. Let's see in the next video. Thank you for watching, guys. Please keep watching this series.